Tuesday, the 18th of August, 2020. A reading from the prophet Ezekiel, chapters 28, verses 1 to 10. The word of the Lord was addressed to me as follows. Son of man, tell the ruler of Tyre, the Lord says this. Being swollen with pride, you have said, I am God. I am sitting on the throne of God, surrounded by the seas. Though you are a man and not a God, you consider yourself the equal of God. You are wiser now than Daniel. There is no sage as wise as you, but your wisdom and your intelligence you have amassed great wealth. You have piles of gold and silver inside your treasure houses. Such is your skill in trading. Your wealth has continued to increase and with this your heart has grown more arrogant. And so the Lord says this, since you consider yourself the equal of God very well, I am going to bring foreigners against you, the most barbarous of the nations. They will draw sword against your fine wisdom. They will defile your glory. They will throw you down into the pit and you will die of violent death surrounded by the seas. Are you still going to say, I am God, with, when your murderers confront you? No. You are a man and not a God in the clutches of your murderers. You will die like the uncircumcised at the hand of foreigners, for I have spoken. It is the Lord who speaks. The word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew, chapters 19, verses 23 to 30. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you solemnly, it will be hard for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. Yes, I tell you again, it is easier for a camel to pass through the eye of a needle than for a rich man to enter the kingdom of heaven. When the disciples heard this, they were astonished. Who can be saved then? They said. Jesus gazed at them. For men, he said, this is impossible. For God, everything is possible. Then Peter spoke. What about us? He said to him, We have left everything and followed you. What are we to have then? Jesus said to him, I tell you solemnly, when all is made new and the Son of Man sits on his throne of glory, you will yourself sit on the twelve thrones to judge the twelve tribes of Israel. And everyone who has left houses, brothers, sisters, father, mother, children or land for the sake of my name will be repaid a hundred times over and also inherit eternal life. Many who are first will be last, and the last first. The Gospel of the Lord. <laughs>